see, I got the call and, you know, I was excited they're doing a second one. So I had them send me, you know, the first copy of the script. And I got it. Crap. Complete, utter crap. I don't know what they were doing. So, you know, pro probably one of my biggest memories about this film, this, this film was, was not easy to make, um, you know. We, we tried to get a lot of really um, big movie companies involved, and, uh, you know, through most of the stages, we had Warner Brothers signed on. Um, yeah, and we all quit. know that was a bad idea. They quit, yeah. and I just, I dropped my pants, and I pissed on their front door. And, and so, I, you know, I started doing a little brainstorming. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I made, like, a little timeline, like, like what would happen? in the second one, because you gotta wonder, like... Uh, yeah, yeah, so it was, uh, definitely an upgrade. The, uh, Detective Pooch to Agent Pooch was, uh, big time on the They never talked to him yet. Um, so, it was earlier this year, it was, uh, it was a week before Memorial Day, I didn't have any plans, I wasn't, I wasn't looking forward to it, I, I don't really have any friends. Most of my most of my family's dead, and um, yeah. Uh, so Brett and I uh, we got right to work um, in the, the first stages of pre-production. Uh, we had a lot of big locations planned for this film: Turkey, in Europe, uh, the Greek Isles, uh, and uh, a little bit New Zealand, a lot of the Mediterranean. But eventually that all uh, fell through because creatively it just made so much more sense just to shoot it at home. You know, I, I just I just went over to Brett's house. And... When the script was sent to me, I just fell in love with it. I read it every single day for about two days, and uh, I didn't you know really like it that much. I decided, what the hell, I'll just do it anyway. It's not... Brett called me and told me it wasn't being filmed in LA and said it was being filmed in his backyard. So uh, I got back on the plane and flew over to Brett's house and uh, just filmed it there. Because yeah, I got all these places in my backyard. We had, we, had a lot, uh, we had a lot bigger budget on this film than we did the first one. It was hard because uh, I know Trevor went through a rough divorce. No, um, so it wasn't a divorce, I sold her. Oh, that's right. That's where we got most of the money. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, we really knew where we wanted to pool our resources, and that was Trevor Kinder. Cut the budget, cut the scenes, cut the filming, cut the cut the money, and throw it in the truck. I spent a good sum of money getting me in on this movie. Since I was doing a favor on the last one, he was the one actor that we knew was going to make this movie exceptional. But there was a lot more choreography in this film. Um, I had a sword in the first film, but I, I, I didn't actually use it. Uh, we called it Brendan Fraser as director of choreography. He was in, he was in New York at the time, uh, working on his next film, The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Eric and I probably practiced for 18 hours a day um, I think this film raises a lot of questions about the society that we live in. First off, one rule, no shit. You don't shit at your grandson or you don't play. When people go and see this film, they're going to walk away. You know, the, They're not going to feel good. Um, they're probably going to be mad at their significant other for about a week. Tell us about your exercise regimen to prepare for the obviously, you know, more intense physical requirements of this film. Right when I wake up in the morning, five jumping jacks, we walk to the set and we usually see uh, Trevor, you know, doing his thing. That's pretty much it. We heard rumors of a Memorial Day 3 in the works, so what can you tell us about that? We are—we're not supposed to talk about that. So. What was it like working with Trevor Kinder? You worked side by side with him. How was that? Um. Well, he tended to uh, uh, grab my crotch a lot. 
that that didn't happen. It, that never happened. The allegations, you know, of me touching, you know, fellow big trouble. actor Dylan Green. It's preposterous because I mean, it it didn't happen. I saw it happen. Don't tell me it didn't happen. Watching him. Trevor's trailer, and sometimes when we watch it, he would um, he didn't start touching me. It didn't happen. Why oh God! And I just slapped his hand right then because I told him I wasn't down with it, and but he persisted. The fate of the world is in your beard. Well, it was Memorial Day. <clears throat> I don't. Even, I don't even. What is Memorial Day? I don't even. Uh, know. Memorial Day is an old Jewish holiday. Mm. It's just, it's so far, bad. that hasn't had too much of an influence on the film, you know. Um, I think I, James Cameron gave me a call while we were on, you know, mm -hmm. set, and he was asking me how we are doing this. And what did you? You told him to. I shove told him it. to shove it. Yeah. And I threw my phone into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. and told my agent to fire him. We fired James Cameron. We're in the early, we're in the early stages, and anything, anything's possible. I'm, I'll, 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 I'll uh, leave you. Brett Nelson, Brett Nelson, Brett Nelson. Anything. One more question, please. Brett Nelson. What, 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 what. <laughs> yeah, we're done. <laughs>